Hey guys, it's Tyler from Nelly Security. In the past few videos, we've been taking an in-depth look at our Uniview motorized lens cameras. And today we're going to dive into the web interface to check out some of these incredible features. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is open up Easy Tools. You can download this program directly from our website. Now, what this is going to do is show us all of our Uniview security products currently on our network. And as you can see, this also pulls in some of our H-series cameras as well. So be sure to look for these Uniview model numbers here with this IPC prefix. Now, this is the camera that we're going to be looking at today, the IPC 3638SR3 DPZ. This is the 4K motorized turret. Now, right here, it tells us the IP address of this camera, and we are going to go ahead and plug that into Internet Explorer. Now, if this is your first time logging into a Uniview web browser, you will need to download this plugin. Now, once you download this program, you can go ahead and log in with the default username, which is admin, and the default password, which is 123456. Now, once you successfully log in, you will see this live view pop up. This is the main screen of your web interface. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot going on here. We do have our snapshot button here, which will let us take a snapshot or a recording. We can digitally zoom on our image. We can actually start a face capture here from our live view, which is pretty unique. We can enter full screen mode. And we can also toggle on and off the PTZ controls here. Our PTZ controls give us the ability to zoom our camera in and out. Now, these controls are very responsive. Right when I click the button, the motorized zoom starts immediately. And these cameras do have pretty good autofocus. As you can see, when I stop zooming, it kind of moves the image in and out until it settles on a focus that it thinks is ideal. Most of the time it's right, but just in case you do need to adjust the focus after you zoom, you can do that with these controls here. And that's really about it for the live view. So let's go ahead and keep moving. Now we do have a micro SD card installed on this camera, so we can access this playback menu as well as this photo menu. However, we do need to format our SD card before accessing these features, so we will come back to these screens in the next video. For now, let's go ahead and continue to our setup menu. Now these Uniview cameras are feature packed and they really do have a lot to offer. So if you're kind of a tinkerer, you can really come in here and mess around with a lot of these settings. However, most of these features and menu items are beyond the scope of this video. For now, I'm just going to give you a very brief overview of some of the things that you can accomplish here. First, I want to point out these two common menus. We have a common navigation menu here, as well as a common configuration menu on the right side of the screen. One of the nice things about these cameras is that even though they are loaded with features, everything is pretty simple and quick to find. With just a couple of clicks, you have quick access to most of the settings that you're going to be using. If there's a menu that you're going to be using often, you're most likely going to be able to find it inside of one of these common menus. Here we have access to our local parameters. From here, we can change the settings of our computer. The settings that we change here will remain consistent across all the different Uniview cameras that we access from this particular device. We also have our network settings here. We can view and manage IP addresses. We have our time settings, our server settings, our OSD settings, and our user settings. Now let's dig a little bit deeper into this menu system. Under our network settings tab, we have several advanced settings that we're not going to touch on much in this video. However, I do want to point out this easy cloud tab. Now I showed you this in our last video, but if you do want to have access to your security cameras from your mobile device, you do need to enable this easy cloud function. Under video and audio, we can adjust the video settings of each of our three streams. We can also enable our audio here. If you'll remember, our motorized turret does have a built-in microphone. With that enabled, we can go back to our live view and make sure we turn the volume on. 
now we can hear what's going on with our security camera. Under the image tab, we can change basic image settings. Also under the image settings, we can adjust our on-screen display. Uniview cameras have a very customizable on-screen display, giving us up to eight fields that we can customize in whatever way that suits our needs. Right now we have date and time enabled. We can also enable a custom field to name this camera and I'll name it front parking lot. We can also have people counting statistics show up on our OSD, a scrolling message, a picture overlay, and more. We can move everything around on the screen to figure out a configuration that works for us. Now, we will come back to these intelligent and events tabs in the next video. But for now, before we can create some events to record, we do have to prepare our SD card. To do that, we will go into storage, make sure your memory card is selected, and click format. Now, once this finishes this formatting process, your SD card will be ready for recording. And again, we will take a closer look at the kinds of things that we can record in the next video. Now, the final two tabs we have here are security and system. Here, you will be able to add and manage users, edit your server properties, upgrade your firmware, default your device, and more. Again, there is a lot more to explore here than what we have time for in this video. Next time, we are going to set up some motion detection events as well as some intelligent events. In the meantime, if you're enjoying this series, go ahead and click the link in the description below to our blog post. Here, you'll be able to find more info about these products as well as product links to each of the cameras. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.